real YouTube is suffer. This is a video with many suffering. Okay, everybody, this is it. This is genius or madness, and I'm not sure which, and I don't care anymore. This is the end one way or another for real. There will be no more after this. We are about to attempt the impossible. One final time. So many of you, many of you may be asking yourself, Wolf, Wolf Glick, a man some believe not to exist. Why are we here? Isn't it midnight for you? It's April 1st. Perhaps this is a joke to you. No, my fine viewers. Unfortunately, this is not a joke. We are here in person. Online. To attempt perhaps my greatest idea ever. So, here's the way that it works. There's two ways to solve a problem. You can work harder, which I am not a fan of, or you can work smarter, which I am a fan of. We tried our hardest. It took 10 streams. We got Glaceon to number eight on the ladder and it wasn't enough. We could not get to number one. However, however, <laughs> right now, there is nobody at number one spot. The highest ranked players are in Great Ball tier nine. So if I am the only player in Master Ball, come on, this is a this is Battle of Speed Wolf, you have to move fast. If I am the only player in Master Ball, then by default, I will be number one. I am, it is midnight on April 1st. The season has just begun. If I can just find opponents, I, yes, yes. All right, we have to win quickly. It's time to bring out the Swap Gang. Rank nine in the world. No, this matchup is terrible. <laughs> just kidding. When you sort, Nine Tails. Up front. Wait, does this work? I can I can use it's Swamp Gang time, baby. It's Swamp Gang, baby. Nine Tails. Okay. Uh, okay. We don't have to rush. This is actually a pretty good matchup for Glaceon. Uh, it's not actually. I, I wouldn't go that far. Let's calm down, Wolf. <laughs> um. Uh, Charizard. Uh, Glaceon. I think this trick is not to bring Glaceon. Atsushiti. Thank you very much. For the kind words and encouragement, I'm going to need them. Don't text me. This is not the time, my good friends. All right, I have to lock in. I need to win these games quickly. It's support Tojikus. All right, Glaceon doesn't really do very well here, but you know what? I Glaceon, I believe. Swamp Gang returns. We have to win every battle. We have to go undefeated because our only chance at doing this is to get to number to get to get to master ball before anybody else we have a 45 second delay i'm not messing around dragapult is the lead okay they just went for it they didn't care no more respect is going to be shown on, from me to my opponents anymore i'm done showing respect the swamp gang doesn't respect the swamp gang only 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 kills there's no respect i'm locking in immediately i knew you couldn't walk away one last ride. The salt. See, Alti, thank you for the sub. Bob Thunder, welcome to the Swamp Gang. Just kidding, you've been here for a while, but thank you for supporting the Swamp Gang. Tom, thank you for supporting. Swamp Gang is back, and so am I. Glaceon's final stand. Yeah, you know, I wish that hadn't happened. A Pokemon switches in. The worst possible Pokemon that could switch in, in fact. Some people would even say that was very bad. And with Glaceon in the back, it's looking kind of rough. But we're not giving up. You <laughs> think we're gonna give up because <laughs> of a Parathorn? Salty, thank you for the gift sub. Now I don't have a way to hit this. Phantom Force, interesting. Goodbye. Guys, just gonna come out here. Now, this is not a great start. I'm gonna be honest. That was the worst possible turn one that could have happened. Um, I wish I just switched into Ninetales and Sleep Pattern. But 
Yeah, that's what I should have done. I just decided to go aggressive. Okay, this person has proved that they are worth worthy of respect. We're gonna go into Nene Tails here and just bop this thing. Take it out in one shit one shot. Odin's not, thank you for the sub. Man, Max Geyser actually did a ton of damage. Final form video, yes. Now switching in Nene Tails is a little risky for a number of reasons. Um one of them being uh they still have Colossal. They're not a Salt Vest and Ferrothorn, I'm pretty confident in that. They Dynamax Ferrothorn. Okay. That's actually not terrible as long as Ninetales survives. If Ninetales dies, we will 100% lose. Because I, I didn't bring Charizard in the back, which was a mistake. Thank you for the cheer. Alright, alright, alright. That one, this is a bad start. <laughs> I just have to make sure Ninetales doesn't die this turn, basically. Okay, excellent. So I shouldn't die to this. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, they crit me, that's why. Now, I can no longer, unfortunately. I can no longer... Um, I can't be Colossal if I die here. Alright, Misty Train being up is bad. Oh, wait, they're gonna overwrite it. I can still sleep powder stuff. Never mind. Oh, that's so good! Let's go. Dragapult goes down. They're gonna over max overgrowth. Yep. I think Primarina will survive this. Maybe not. I think it will survive it. I'm, I'm feeling confident. Primarina, back against the wall, survives. Grassy Train is up. I wonder how much damage we do to Colossal with Max Geyser. Okay, they're gonna do Colossal here, which is <laughs> a colossal problem. <laughs> what do they do here? They go Colossal. They go Toji Demaru. Interesting. So, presumably they want to smack my... Okay, with, with the Pokemon they have left... Wait, what? Grass Punch. Okay, right, that's my move. Um... um I kind of just want a Heat Wave, honestly. Heat Wave Max Strike? Is that stupid? If Ninetales goes down, I will lose. And Glaceon does next, like, literally nothing this game. So I'm going to switch to Glaceon. And I'm going to max strike here, um, because I don't want to activate the rain, and I would like to lower Tojimaru's speed. Winter, thank you for the sub. This should be Fake Out into Nina Tails. They go over Fake Out, I make the rain correctly, and now... Wolf Click back against the wall. But how is he going to, uh, how is he going to not lose to Colossal? Is his question. Because the thing is, Colossal can switch in, and it will get Steam Engine. Speed drops in Toji tomorrow. I don't actually know if that was super helpful in hindsight. Steel Spike, actually. Into Primarina. I think I live this. I died. Okay, so. <laughs> uh, this is where things get dicey. I think I have to make some reads. I want the Wolfie Champions look back. You were hot there. Are you saying I'm not hot anymore? Because that would make me feel sad, and I hope that's not what you mean. Isn't the season over? Yes, the last season is over. But let me ask you, what about this season? So I need Ninetales to win this game. I think I have to go into Ninetales here. My opponent has shown me that they are that they are that they are smart, that they are that they are worth respecting. And so I, I intend to respect them. I can no longer pledge it up, which is a bit of a problem. However, I can hard read. I don't really love this. But, you know, you gotta spend money to make money. <laughs> Hopefully, Colossal switches in for Toji tomorrow here. It's Offensive Ferrothorn? Yeah, it's Offensive Ferrothorn, but are they... Like, if I get this play wrong, I'm ex I hard read a Max Guard and a switch to Colossal. Because if I go for Heat Wave, like... Ninetales shouldn't be able to punish it, uh, either of these Pokemon. Man, Glaceon's not really a good Pokemon to have here. Wolf Glick. Back against the wall. But an indomitable will. That's alright. If you guys need to go to bed, go to bed. I will carry on without you. He makes a hard read! Yes, yes, I'm so good. I've played Pokemon before. Yes, yes. 
Oh. He solar beams with his choice specs nine tails in the grassy terrini. Now this is not over, folks. Specs nine tails doesn't do enough damage. <laughs> Now, Ferrothorn is out of Dynamic Say. So it's Nine Tails and Wenyasaur. Backs against the wall. My opponent, unfortunately, does not, or they do not know that I'm Specs. So I do need to switch here. Because I need all I need to, to win this game is to get one Heat Wave off with Nine Tails. And we should be, we should be, we should be set. But I, yeah, I mean, locking to Slowbring there is bad. I wanted to double heart, excuse me, hard rate with both my mons by Shadow Balling. Um, that would have been kind of cool. But I wanted to get Wendysaur in earlier, just in case something went wrong. Wolf Glick. His final gambit. Oh, thank, thank you very much. Okay, they do not protect. Grass Bludge comes out. I need this to KO, please. Colossal goes down, and as long as they don't Gyro Ball into Glatheon. They Gyro Ball into Wendysaur. A wise decision, but not wise enough. Ninetales is going to come back in here. Outspeeds Toji tomorrow, and if I hit a Heat Wave, this game is over. How do you get through Ferrothorn? I have Nina Tails. Yeah, if this was Charizard, this game would have been over so long ago. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go for Protecty, uh, and I'm gonna Shadow Ball the Toji tomorrow. Why go to bed when I can witness history being made? That's a good question. That's a you question, not a me question. Iron it comes out. Ooh, they have Iron Head. I wonder if Glacian will flinch. No, no flinches from Glatheon. Shadow Ball comes out. Almost gets the kill. Harsh Light fades, which is a little unfortunate. What I would like, let's see if the grass ends this turn as well. I really should just sack both my Pokemon here, I think. The problem is Ninetales doesn't have a 100% accurate fire move. Oh, the grass is gone. Actually, you know what? It's fine. I can actually double here with Grass Pledge and Shadow Ball because sure, they can KO one Pokemon, but they can't KO both. Does Glacier have Weather Ball? Does it get Weather Ball? Oh, it does, doesn't it? Is there a delay? There is. There's 45 seconds of delay. I fear no Stream Sniper right now. I have nine tails to tell you and they're about... They're about Glacier getting to number one. Wenyasaur does go down here. However, without Quick Claw on this on this uh, on this Ferrothorn, Shadow Ball is going to take out Toji Tomaru. Glaceon gets a KO with its 100% accurate move. Glaceon goes down. However, we've played this into a one versus one, and my last Pokemon is Nine Tails with full HP and a Dream. Nina Tails is back on the field. Wolf Glick. Back against the open air. Can he land an overheat to win this game? More like overheat, am I right? Boo! Zane, listen to my master plan. This is the most brilliant thing I've ever done in my entire life. The ladder just reset 12 minutes ago. 12 minutes ago, and everyone got booted out of Master Ball tier. Every single person, meaning the first person to get to Master Ball tier will be default number one in the world. So all I have to do is get to Master Ball tier before anybody else, which helped because I started at midnight exactly. Okay, that's good. <laughs> it's not great. This is the only way I can get Glacier to number one is I have to be the first person there. I need to start winning faster. I think I just need to leave Charizard nine tails every game. This is like a movie, I swear. Okay, Iki. That's what they say when they see my team. They say, oh, oh. wait, what was my trick answer with this team again? Oh, Swamp Gang. Charizard nine tails, just, su just sun my way through them. I don't need the sun mods here. I outspeed everything. So, Babalu, thank you for the sub. 
This is like a sequel to a prequel to a sequel. My brain isn't big enough to think about that right now. So I either do Glaceon, Glaceon Togekiss, or Glaceon Ninetales. I think we bring Glaceon. It's actually not bad here, and it switches into Lapras really well. The only question is, do we do Charizard or Ninetales? Charizard loses a lot of power without... I think we do Ninetales. I don't love Ninetales here because of Rhyperior, but I think being able to overwrite the special defense boost is good for Venusaur. Hey, if any of you are trying to get to number one, my need is greater than yours, okay? I need you to have empathy, okay? I need you to have empathy. <laughs> if you play, like, 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 your time can come later, but I've suffered a lot, and I need you to consider the greater good here. Dusclops and Togekiss. So my plan against Trick Room, some m might describe as simple. The concept is clear. Maybe, maybe not me. So, but but some would describe it simple. Now, I've seen this movie, and I know that in this situation, I actually do miss the sleep pattern. However, it's not a big deal. I have no... I don't want to take KOs here. I want to, I want to just have it be nap time. More Pico is later. More Pico is easy. More Pico is fun. More Pico is cool. More Pico is a good Pokemon. Glaceon is an actual trash Pokemon. And I, I can only do it through cheese. Sleep pattern comes out. Well. Can't win them all. Oh, I had no idea. Now I am slow pre-marina, which is good. So they don't have a... Gr I don't think you switch into uh, Rhyperior here, especially without stream delay. Or with stream delay. I guess you can go Lapras, but it still feels kind of risky. You just can go for a big old protect with both Pokemon. The goal is not to let them get Trick Room up. Or not to let them get a Sweeper and Trick Room here. So if I burn a turn this turn, then I can Moonblast Sleep Header next turn. I don't know if you expect Protect with both Pokemon here. They do not expect Protect. And all I need is a Swamp, and I'm moving. Protect on both Pokemon. Turn 2 of Trick Room is burned. I have so much experience using this team. They go for Nightshade and presumably... Oh, Yawn. Oh, hmm. Hmm. I could put them in the Swamp if I wanted. So I can KO Togekiss here, or I could go for Swamp Time. I think I want a Sleep Powder and Moonblast. Moonblast should pick up the KO on Togekiss. The first Hyper Voice did about 40. Moonblast is boosted and, frankly, significantly stronger. Significantly stronger. So all I need here is Sleep Powder to connect, and I'll be in decent shape, I would say. They go for Nightshade. Who's it into? When you sort of loses its item through this encounter, now that's not perfect, but Primarina, back against the wall. Underspeed is Togekiss. Does it pick up the KO? It does. All Venusaur needs to do is hit a 75% accurate sleep powder. Can it do it? It goes for a sleep powder. The second one of the match, this time it connects. This is a big deal, folks. This is a huge deal. They go into presumably Lapras. Who is it? Lapras comes in. Is Wolf Glick and his back that is against the wall prepared for this? He has a switch in. Is he going to go for it? He goes into Glaceon. What's he going to do? What's his plan? What's his strategy? Primarina is boosted. Is he going to Dynamax it? Moon Blast into the Dusclops. It's a risky play. I don't know if it will pay off. Baba, thank you for being here. Lapras presumably will Dynamax this turn. It does. Lapras, Dynamaxing, could turn the tide of this battle. Is it going for G-Max Aurora Veil into the Wenyasaur? Did Wolfblick correctly make this prediction? His back is against the wall. Do not forget it. If Lapras goes for G-Max Aurora Veil, it will not do very much damage to Glacian, but a Max Lightning would be devastating. Lap or Dust Club gets the first turn of sleep. Resonance comes out. That is G-Max Aurora Veil. It hits Glacian. How much is Glacian going to take from this? Pitiful damage. Glaceon says, I eat these moves for breakfast. Auroraville does come up, though. Wolf Glick and his back that's against the wall. Need to be careful. Primarina. Moonblasting Dusclops. Wolf Glick knows he needs some damage on this Pokemon. He does good chip. Special attack drop. That is not relevant here. How many turns of Trick Room are left, folks? I believe it's the last one. Last turn of Trick Room. Glaceon. Back against the wall. Shadow Ball. Now, what is Primarina going to do here? Is Wolf Glick going to scout for the Max Lightning, or is he just going to go for the KO on the Dusclops? Wolf Glick, back against the wall. He knows he can take the Max Lightning. He's going to double the Dusclops. 
Just go up, stays asleep. That's the first part of the plan. Is it Max Lightning? It is Max Lightning. Pre Marina. Facing down Dynamax Lapras. Takes a Max Lightning relatively well. Sleep Powder from Venusaur is now off the table. There are no tables and there's no Sleep Powder that are allowed to be used on them. If there were tables. Shadow Ball from Glaceon. No, Pre Marina's Moonblast first. Dust Cops. Takes another 30%. 45. 40%. 35%. Glaceon Shadow Ball. Finishes it off Dust Cops. Wolf Click doing quick math in his head. Quick math. Can Pre Marina take a Max Lightning through Protect? The first one did 75%. That means the second one should do roughly 20, but it's now 1.3 times multiplier. 2 plus 2 is 4. Minus 1. That's 3. Quick math. Meaning it should do 26%. But if the first one did actually less than 75%, did it do 80%? How much did it do? Quick math. Zero comes in. Rhyperior is the last Pokemon. Although Wolf's Glitch back is against the wall, he has a feeling that this might be a dangerous Rhyperior set for him. Freeze Dry is going to come out here. This is going to be Max Lightning, folks. Wolf Glick doesn't have a good Pokemon to Dynamax in this situation. It's going to have to be Venusaur. Freeze Dry and Protect. No, Freeze Dry and Water Pledge. Let's try and get rid of this thing. Unfortunately, right here goes for Protect. It was unfortunately an obvious play, but unfortunately, Wolf Glick decided not to cover it. Freeze Dry. Does nothing. Water Pledge. Unfortunately, also does nothing. Opponent goes for Max Lightning into Pre-Marina. Pre-Marina's not going to survive this one. But Wolf Glick back against the wall has successfully sold out Dynamax. A critical hit doesn't matter, but it makes Wolf Glick feel better because if he protected, he definitely would have died. So he didn't really have a better option there, except Moonblast into Lapras, which might have been better. Hmm. What is Wolf Glick going to do now? He's got Glaceon. He's got Wenyasaur. He's got a Dream. But this Dynamax Lapras, which is no longer Dynamax, but has it up the Aurora Veil, is looking kind of scary. Wolf Glick has a feeling that Wenyasaur, if it Dynamaxes, can take a hit from this Lapras. Freeze, dry into the Rhyperior. He doesn't have a better option. And Max Overgrowth, his strongest move, into the Rhyperior. All he needs is a KO on this Rhyperior, and he's hoping that Ninetales and Glaceon together can beat down this Lapras. Using Grassy Terrain will overwrite the Electric Terrain, meaning that Lapras' best move will be an Ice-type attack and a Water-type attack against a salt Fest Glaceon in the Sun. The Swamp Gang has gone down, but it's set up nicely for this endgame. Wenyasaur, back against the wall. Dynamaxes. 212 HP, gonna take an attack from this Lapras. Right here, he's gonna go for the Double Protect here. And unfortunately, it gets... Oh! Lapras, back against the wall. Protects itself from Wenyasaur's max overgrowth. But it wasn't aimed at Wenyasaur. It wasn't aimed at Lapras. It was aimed instead at the Rhyperior. Can it survive? It does not. Rhyperior goes down. And now, all of a sudden, Lapras' is back is against the wall. And Dynamax Wenyasaur is staring down. Another obstacle on the road to number one. Now, unfortunately, setting up Grassy Train is not ideal here, folks. And the reason is... We now have to wait longer for the turn. To last... Glaceon healing up and should not be able to be fainted by Lapras now. Wolf Click cleverly did not damage the Lapras so that it, he didn't have to wait for Grassy Train recovery. Now, Freeze Dry. Into the Eek. Overgrowth. Into the Eek. There should be a forfeit this turn. There's no way Lapras can win this one. Yes. Opponent respects Wolf's Drip. Respect the Drip, Karen. We Dynamax in the second to last turn, or on the on the third to second to last turn, so that we wouldn't have to watch the shrinking animation. No! This is a waste of time. We Pixie Plate. Continue battling. Got some zinc. No, Wolf hit. Please hit the right button. Okay, let's see. How much do we get for this? Paul, I think the first one after you win, after a loss, is just like a little. Yeah, okay. So we probably need two more wins. Two more wins in the Ultra Ball. Tier 10 to get to, ma uh, to, get to Master Ball. But it's getting late. And I'm getting tired. I'm fighting Mono Ghost with Focus Blast Gengar. I wish I could fight against that. <laughs> Although, actually, I kind of we kind of already did fight that. We fought Quadruple Ghost. This is it, folks. Can we do it? It's five and one with Glaceon. We need to find an opponent soon. We know there are people in Ultra Bolts here, but how many we don't know. No, that's not how that works. Uh. Cornfields. New season. Yes, new season. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me an opponent, give me an opponent. It doesn't even matter who. 
Okay, there we go. Found somebody. A rain team against my sun team. Interesting. Now, Raichu's a bit of a problem. I won't lie to you. I won't lie to you about Raichu. Um, Charizard goes in here. So I think what we try to do is set the swamp up. And then win with... I kind of want to lead Ninetales and Venusaur. And force them into Pelipper early. Yeah, I kind of want to do that. And turn one to switch to Primarina. I need to put somebody in the swamp. We haven't had a swamp gang. We haven't put him in the swamp all, um, all, all stream. I expect like Hydreigon lead maybe. Raichu maybe, Hydreigon or, or Corviknight. Or Corviknight. Raichu and Corviknight. Okay, did I say that I expected this? This is what I expected. Now I could Dynamax my Ninetales here. It's actually not the craziest thing I've ever, I've ever thought of. Now, if I'm in my opponent's shoes here, I think I make one of two plays. One, I fake out the Ninetales, or two, I switch to Pelipper. So for that reason, I'm going to sleep out of the Raichu and switch. What up, Ed? How you doing? Wait, Eduardo, why are you here? Go to bed. <laughs> they switch out. Corviknight, actually. That's a good move as well. Should be Pelipper. Okay, Pelipper comes in. So I did sleep pattern into the Raichu, so I don't know if this will work for me. Let's see what they go for here. Nozzle comes out into the Wenyasaur. Okay, that's not amazing. Uh, on the one hand, that's not amazing. On the other hand, it's not terrible. If I get the sleep pattern off... No, that sucks! Okay, that's quite bad. Um, that's unfortunate. I'm just going to get nuzzled again, right? Or are they going to Volt me? Oh, that sucks, dude. Okay, how do I win this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let somebody, I'm gonna let somebody go down here for a hyper voice. I don't have anything that can outspeed the Raichu anymore, which is like a huge problem. And I can't even, I can't even go for Swamp Gang. Actually, I'm gonna go for Swamp Gang. No, I can't do that. I'm gonna time out. Fight, hyper voice, both. Yeah, this turn could go very badly for me. They go for Nuz. Okay, it makes sense. They just want to spread paralysis and get lucky. I don't disagree. Should be Hurricane. Ah, that sucks. Winchester's not surviving that. Let's see if they get Parrot again. Hyperwiz comes out. Big damage. Okay, so we know three of their Pokemon now. I'm gonna go into Nine Tails here and click Heat Wave. I'm gonna click a click big old Heat Wave here. I kind of want a Heat Wave Max Strike. Not gonna lie. I feel like Dynamaxing my. I think what they're gonna do here is they're gonna Volt Switch into my Primarina. Honestly, but I'm gonna Heat Wave. Like I think they're gonna switch. Should I make the read? <laughs> That's, that seems very risky. I could hit wave. No, they're, they're not going to attack into Primarina here, are they? Or they're not going to. They're going to Voltage into Ninetales, right? I'm making a hard read here. I'm predicting they just switch out Pelipper and then Volt Switch into Corviknight, I think, and then Volt Switch into. And then Volt Switch um, with Raichu into Pelipper. So I made the move that I thought would potentially get me both Pokemon. However, I get paralyzed, we're in trouble. They could also just nuzzle me here. Though if they nuzzle, they'll lose both Pokemon anyway. We don't know who the last Pokemon is here, unfortunately. Because that kind of makes a big difference. Let's see if it's Volt Switch. It's Volt Switch. Okay, I made the right move. So they're going to go into Pelipper here. Which on the surface is bad, I agree. However, I think there's a chance... 
Depends on who the last Pokemon is here. Because I will get rid of Corviknight as long as I'm not full paralyzed. Pelipper comes back in. Okay. I need to get rid of this Raichu somehow. It's really annoying. Heat Wave comes out here. The ship damage is nice in the Pelipper. We connect with both. It's not going to do a lot to Pelipper, but it's, it's adding up. Oh my god. It, it, oh my god. If I knew it was going to do that much. Oh, we crit. That's why. Get the burn on Pelipper. That's actually nice. <laughs> okay. Well, that doesn't matter. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Actually, no, it doesn't matter. Kill him anyway. Geyser comes out. Okay, so Pelipper's damaged. Raichu, damaged. It all comes down to Pre Marina. I don't know if I've, I don't remember the last time I've seen a double heat wave burn. Should we Raichu again? Ludicolo. That's probably going to spell defeat for me, folks. I don't see how I can get through Ludicolo with what I have. I think I have to stay in here, right? Go for a heat wave. And max strike. I don't think I can win this. I think I messed this up. I messed this up. I need to hope they like max grass here for some reason, though. I don't see why they would. Yeah, I would need I would need to max grass here. Um, I'll max strike into the Galloper. Yeah, need to come back. That's fine. Yeah, that nuzzle para was really bad turn one. The Dynamax Ludicolo. I was just hoping it wasn't Ludicolo. Um, yeah, I maybe should have charged out early. I don't know. I must. I don't know. I messed this one up. Uh, I would need them to do something stupid here. Like the thing is, there's almost no wrong move they can make, other than like max guard Ludicolo, which I don't think they would do. Overgrowth. Okay, if I live this, I'm gonna say we have a chance. If we live this, there's a chance. I think. If, and if they like skull, oh wait, no, there's there's really no way for me to. They would have to like hurricane with with Pelipper, or I don't actually, I don't know, maybe. No, I mean they could just max guard and then yeah. They go for skull. I don't think Charizard. Yeah, I don't think Charizard lives this. I would need Charizard to survive. I die unfortunately, and yeah, in this position, I don't think I can win. We might even get paired this turn. Okay, we get max strike off into Pelipper, so it is a two versus two. If this were two versus one, I'd say maybe. But no, they can just go for max Geyser again, and then we'd lose. So, um. Yeah, it's a little unfortunate. Ah, it sucks, dude. Like, I played well, but... I don't know, I got... The turn one went really badly, and I guess I'm just... Ah, uh, right, you weak. I once again didn't bring Glacia, and once again I lost. Yeah, there's no way I can win this, I think. I really need to get that right, you turn one. Yeah. Sun comes out. Um, I've dropped Lidical Speed, which, you know, is somewhat useful, but... Um, yeah, back to Babby form, I think. Oh, I actually have one more turn of Dynamax left, actually. So I guess I could hard read them here and go for... I mean, where there's, a, where there's a will, there's a way. I have to make a hard read this turn, right? I swear to God, if they Volt Switch my... Gosh darn it! Ugh. There was a chance here. That's the worst part, is that if I get the max guard off... I mean, dude, Nuzzle's broken. Nuzzle's actually broken. Because this would have been a lot to Ludicolo. Yeah, it does a lot to Ludicolo. I mean, it would have been hard. It would have been super hard. If I died a Geyser, then it didn't matter. But because I dropped Ludicolo's speed, I thought maybe there was a chance. Yeah, I mean, it would have been a... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was just over of this, but... Still feels bad. I didn't want to lose like that. Yeah, I'm faster than Lunicolo. So, like, I don't know. If I have Pre Marina this turn, I at least get to get two, a Heat Wave off on this, and then I get to get a Heat Wave off on the. Uh, ah, sucks. Glaceon, why are you so bad? This sucks. Alright, Rain was a problem. Raichu was a big problem. I should have brought Glaceon. Alright, I need to get the Swamp up. If I get the Swamp up, I'm fine. No. I need to get to number one quickly. I'm two and two in Ultra Ball. That is not... Or I'm one and two in Ultra Ball, I think. 
I need to get- I need to- Oh, and there's- We're finding opponents faster, which means there's more people here. Oh, God. What is this? Like, actually, what is this? This is a bad matchup, I'll tell you that much. I think we go Swamp Gang up front. Try and get some Swamps in the chat, and then Glaceon and- Yeah, Charizard and Ninetales here. I think we're gonna bring... Chandler is a problem. Previous video problem. I mean Charizard. Ah. You're watching that finals too? 2011? Ooh. That's a good finals. You see all the Paris? I need your opinion on TTS. <laughs> What do you mean? Like, as a player or as a person? I'm so tired. I've got to get to Master Ball soon. Alright. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Dragapult Clefairy is what I expect. Dragapult Clefairy is what... Oh, Dragapult Graviary. Okay. So I think I want to swamp him. It's time. I don't care about anything else. I'm just going to swamp him. Yeah, the yeah, the yeah, the Nats finals 2011 are ridiculous. Like, yeah, I got uh, yeah, game two in particular. Okay, I made the move. Re oh wait, wait, what are they doing with Braviary? We're speed tying. Okay, they're not scarf. If this was a water type move, that'd be sick. It's not though. But now they're now they're swamped. Now they're in the swamp. Oh, I hope they go for Tailwind. I think that'd be really funny. They go for Rock Slide. Primarina avoids. That wasn't the Pokemon I wanted to avoid, but it's fine. I it actually did a lot of damage. Um, I'm gonna Sludge Bomb into. Clefairy and go for Hyper Voice. I could, of course, go for a Sleep Powder, but I think in this situation, I'd rather just go for Sludge Bomb. Clefairy does not get beat up. Yeah, I don't think they want a Dynamax because raising their... Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I wonder why they went for Rock Slide. Like, maybe they expected Charizard or a Ninetales Suspicion? I just wanted to go for Swamp. Yeah, you can raise your speed if you want, but it doesn't really help because you're in the Swamp Boy. It's Swamp Gang. Swamp Gang, baby! Ooh, maybe they're trying to- they might be trying to one-shot my, uh, my Primarina, I guess. Bop. Cause oh, that didn't do very much damage, actually. Can I get a poison? Okay, nice. Is this new Widio? Not yet. Hyper Voice comes out. Good bit of damage, good bit of damage. Nothing bad there. Good bit of damage. Let's see what they try to kill here. Airstream comes out into either. Okay, they try to one-shot Free Marina. They succeed in one-shotting Free Marina, which is unfortunate. For me. Now they're plus speed. Okay, so I think we go Glacian here. I don't think Ninetales is really the, the end game. And we have two turns left of Swamp, so we have to win before those run out. Yeah. Oh, and I don't have Ninetales in the back. I have Charizard. So, let's see. Let's check what Pokemon they have in this team. Dragapult, Arcanine, Corviknight, and Chandler. I think pretty much regardless, we want to get a Sludge Bomb off. And we want to get a Max Hailstrom off into Braviary. Um, taking, getting rid of their Dynamax is kind of important here. We want to force them into their Pokemon that I can Sleep Powder. Um, and that I can Speed Control versus... I'm forcing them to follow me if they want to protect their Braviary. I guess the worst case scenario is that, like, Protect and Life do. With Max Card and Life do. I'm not sure I needed to Dynamax here, but I wanted to get Hail up. I thought it was important. Also, if you have Rock Slide, Brave Bird, Super Power, I don't know if you have Max Guard. Like, maybe they're Assault Vest. They didn't take very much damage from my Hyper Voice. I Dynamax. So even though they're plus one speed, they're still way slower than me in the Swamp. Worst case scenario is they Max Guard. That'd be pretty bad. Ideally, they don't do that. 
mean, I guess you could. You have fire types in the back, so it's not, it's not the craziest thing. Protect Clefairy again? I mean, greedy in my opinion. I'm just going to say it. It's very greedy. That's why I did this play, because I, I had a feeling they were... Like, you have to keep people honest sometimes. Get poisoned. Get lumberried. <laughs> very nice. Okay, Hailstorm comes out. I don't know if they know how Swamp works, but we get both KOs this turn. Goodbye, pretty athlete. Unfortunately, though, this is... I don't think they know about Swamp. I'm just going to say it. I don't, I'm getting the feeling they don't know about Swamp. Might just sort of take some chip damage. I might have to invest in a max strike this turn. That poison was nice. Okay, Clefairy goes down. Dubstep, uh, what's up? Okay, two turns left of Dynamax, one turn left of Swamp. The, the Swamp is the thing that concerns me here. I did get Snowcloak, actually, for the first time in a while. Chandler? Arcane, eh. Who's that? Corbinite? Chandler. <laughs> okay, I think I'm just gonna go for kills here. I'm gonna go for Sleep Powder into Arcanine, and the Max Phantasm into Chandler. I outspeed both Pokemon. Um, they have two fire types, and I have Charizard in the back, and I have Charizard. So I basically have Pokemon that are bad against fire left, because I lost Primarina already. I guess that explains why they tried to KO Primarina so fast. Sleep Better comes out and connects. Arcanina is going to go to bed. This should be the end of Chandelier as well, unless it's... No, actually, there's no item. I think that would protect Chandelier from me. And I will take some damage here, but I think I can win anyway. They could not be Sash on this thing. They probably are. Yeah, they are Sash, but I still think that was my best move. Let's see if they can hit a Heat Wave in... Uh... See if they can hit a heat wave and hail. Okay, we'll do it. I will do it. I will do it. Snap turn, not time turn one. So they go for trick room. Heat wave comes out. They do miss the Glaceon. They hit Venusaur. So this is the end of Venusaur, but now it's a two versus one, and I have one turn left of Dynamax. Oh, urgent? Okay, I'll check now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. When are they, wait, what year are these from? 2011? 2012? I don't even have a beard in this one. Where did you get these? Okay, Swamp is gone, but I am not. We're gonna smack him with the old Air Slashy and... Mem, none, thank you for the sub. Don't necessarily agree with your, uh... I don't necessarily agree with the message, but I appreciate the support. Okay. Alright, Glaceon actually did really well this game, I'm not gonna lie. Swamp Gang set up for the Glaceon winning. There's something very funny to be about Glaceon beating a Chandelier. I don't know, I think I just think it's very clever. Or not clever, but I just think it's very goofy. Alright, let's see. We're still in Ultra Ball. We have to we have to just go on a win streak. We probably we probably still need two more wins, realistically. Because we just lost the one before this one. Okay. Two wins, and we'll get to Master Ball tier, but we are wasting time. 2011. Where did you find those? Secret? Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting tired, so we need to do this quickly. I Because I, we're not even in Master Ball yet. We're probably going to play at least a game. Someone's definitely beat us to Master Ball, but we, maybe if we can win one or two games, we can do it. Please, please, please. Fast, fast victory. Fast victory. I don't miss having long hair now. It was annoying. There were parts of it that I missed, like it was super soft. It was my hair is so soft, like ridiculous, like some of the softest hair ever. You can't really tell when it's when it's like short. It's still soft, but it was like it felt really nice. But like the hassle of it is not worth it. Come on. Please. What Gen 8 Pokemon you want in Smash Bros? Dragovish. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Finding trainer in a three, two, one. No luck, sorry. Come on. Come on. Please. Somebody, anybody, I don't care. Oh no, that's re that's really bad. That's really bad hacks, dude. When every second counts. That's Garbo. 
I'm mashing A. I'm just gonna mash A. I have a feeling it will work. I'm no Ludwig, but I'm doing my best. Come on. Oh, okay. Alright, Andy. You are an obstacle in my path. And your team is an obstacle in my path as well. Okay. Stupid Raichu again. This time at least they can't control the weather. Zueze! Wait, I kind of want to just do Ninetales Charizard. <laughs> that probably loses to, like, a lot of things though, right? I kind of want to do Ninetales Venusaur Charizard. Or, not, or Charizard Venusaur Ninetales Glaceon. I feel kind of weird. Not, I mean, Glaceon's really good against oof, some of these Pokemon. I'm going to do it. I have faith in Glaceon for once. I think I'm going to regret this, but I'm doing it. Kevin Hawk, thank you very much for the sub. Join the sub Discord. Get access to all my teams. Get access to the, the, my hopes and dreams. Hey, Wolfie, I've seen you win these. This matchup is garbage. I'm not going to lie to anybody. I'm not going to lie to a single person here. This matchup is really bad. Guys, you know, there are more eloquent ways of saying it, but Wolf click back against the wall. Andy's here? Andy is in chat. Andy, my need is greater. <laughs> Wait, where, who is he? <laughs> Lapras rides you back against the wall. Okay, not a great lead. Not amazing. I'll be honest, with everybody here, I would prefer to see other things than Lapras, Lapras Raichu. Um, I'm just going to go for some hard reads and smack attack him with this. Oh, Andy's here. Good luck. Have fun, Andy. <laughs> the chat's trying to bribe Andy. <laughs> Chad, I appreciate it, but don't you have faith that I can win this? <gasps> Let's see how turn one goes, okay? If he goes for fake out into Nina Tails and Max Hailstorm into Nina Tails, then, 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 then you can start bribing, okay? <laughs> or if he doesn't do that. I love to go boom. Thank you for the four months. <laughs> Andy's having fun, dude. Andy's having a great time. <laughs> Let's go, Andy. <laughs> the, the chat is driving Andy. I've seen offers for Chinese GX Zard. I've seen offers for Sobble. Oh my god, Chinese Sobble. Let's see. Make out. If I get nuzzled one more time, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna lose my mind. It's me. I'll kill Charizard first turn. Wait, how? What does he have for Charizard? What if he, like, back to Rock Falls in? I'd probably just lose. Alright, fake out Nina Tails. Oh, he wasn't kidding. Oh, he really wasn't kidding. Wait a second. He wasn't kidding. <gasps> hey, chat, what about- well, how's that bribery going? No, just not for any particular reason, but, uh, as a- as a bribery. <laughs> chat, we have a problem. Okay, Geyser, that's fine. I've seen worse. They did- he really did double Charizard in front of the Venusaur, though. I'm impressed. That takes guts, kid. You got guts, I'll give you that. Uh, we do have to deal with plus two Lapras, uh, Gigantamax now. Which, let me just put it- let me put it lightly, that's the problem. I don't know if we can win this one. My back is against the wall. This is not going well. Ech, the drill is the switch. That was gross. That was gross even for me, and I was the one doing it. Um, it's not terrible. It's not good. Uh, it's not great. It's pretty bad. Let's see. I'm going to double out into Glaceon. I mean, a Rock Slide and, like, a Max Lightning would probably just lose me the game. 
I could just max guard. I'm not like in a rush, right? I could just max guard here. What else does he have on this team? The goal is one you soar in the end, right? I'm gonna max guard. I'm, not, I'm really not in a rush. Who's the Glaceon? And in the end, I try to win with the Venusaur. And he's not forfeiting. Your bri uh, chat's trying, but they're not bribing very well, I guess. Like, I might lose Glaceon here, which would be kind of bad. Okay, you overprotect. Okay, okay. I thought they iron hit my Glaceon by the zoom in, and I was like, what? We go for Resonance into Zard. Okay, so this is actually not terrible. The reason I say it's not terrible is because, um, although things are really bad, Lapras's Dynamax is about to end. Um, and when Lapras's Dynamax ends, it has to choose between setting up Aurora Veil, which is very bad, or, um, or setting up Electric Terrain, which, like, either I get Sleep Powder or they don't get Aurora Veil off. I think this kills even in the rain. I'm not positive. I just kind of assumed it would. Okay. No! You've got to be kidding me! No! Oh, okay, that went very bad. I should have switched to Ninetales. Oh, God. It one-shot me. Oh, no. All right. We're back against the wall. Time. Chat. Okay. Well, it's a... It's a... Two versus two, but they have a weak Palsy Lapras, and I don't have very much. And they got Aurora Veil up, so... Yeah, that's not great. Pretty much a lot of things could have been better than that. No, Andy's not a Andy's not being a homie. He's making the right moves. I can't believe it survived that. If I switched to Nine Tails there, it would have been good. Because now the problem is, well, I'll wait. Andy says we'll be in tournament this weekend. Winky face, <laughs> Andy. <laughs> Andy, it's not over. Uh, we've taken out two of the problem Pokemon. The the third problem Pokemon is unfortunately um, Incineroar, who I have a feeling is in the back. Oh, he is Wenyasaur. Interesting. Okay. Sleep Powder Battle. Sun's up. Gun's up. All right, guys. Whose Sleep Powder is more accurate? He has Aurora Veil, but I have Wildfire. This, I've seen me win these. This is not impossible. This is not impossible. I'm going to Sleep Powder into Lapras. And I'm going to go for Heat Wave. I forgot he had Wenyasaur on this team. If I miss a sleep powder, we probably lose. If he misses a sleep powder and we hit a sleep powder, we probably win. The Aurora Veil is, is up. Lapras goes for protect. Okay, so he's just kind of delaying stuff. I go for sleep powder. If I hit a sleep powder here, we're in super good shape. He goes for sleep powder and connects. That makes sense. I mean, it's sleep powder. Now, I just need my Nene Tails to do exactly that. Now, this should be the last turn of Wildfire, I think. And now I have a choice to make. Do I go for a protect with my uh with my Wenya Sword, or should I go for a I'm gonna sleep higher into the lap first and go for Heatwave. I think I see what he's going for though, which is probably sludge bomb into my Nina Tails. And I will gift you a T3 if you forfeit now. <laughs> Man, we have homies in the chat. We have homies in the chat. I will I will don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I go for Sleep Powder, and I connect, so it's Sleeping Pokemon against Sleeping Pokemon. My Nine Tails has one turn more of Sleep than his does, but he has Aurora Veil. So unless I wake up this turn, if Sludge Bomb 2 it KOs me, Earth Power- Oh god, if this 2 it KOs, we're probably screwed. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if Nine Tails doesn't wake up, we're super screwed. Nine Tails stays asleep, actually. It's not being a homie. So I think the way in- I don't think I can win this, actually. I think this is- I think this is over. I think I lost to Andy. So that is unfortunate. I have to go for this. Uh, I would need probably a critical hit on one of my Pokemon. Andy says, should I forfeit? <laughs> he doesn't forfeit. He's just toying with my emotions. <laughs> I don't crit. Okay. He goes for another Earth Power. Let's see if I can get... Okay, stay for and sleep for another turn. I mean... Let's see. We know he's not... Basically, it depends on if his Venusaur two shots my Venusaur. I actually have a feeling it's not this Andy. Okay, he doesn't predict Lapras. So, it just basically, I can still win this if Sludge Bomb is like a 40%, just like 40% to Venusaur. It depends if he's, mo he's probably modest. Sludge Bomb comes out. 
It's exactly a 2 k okay? Andy, if you're gonna forfeit, you have to do it now. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work. I lose- I will lose this, most likely. It's a damage roll. Ban Andy? <laughs> oh my god, the whole chat is popping up for Andy. <laughs> I- <laughs> Bandy? <laughs> He's not forfeiting! <laughs> the chat is powerless to this man. <laughs> Alright, I lost. I lost, I lost. Alright, well. Andy's not gonna... Andy's not giving it to me. That's alright. You can't blame him. <laughs> alright. So, the first Sludge Bomb did 78. No, 79. We need the second one to do 76. It's a roll. He said he was battling you before Andy appeared on stream. Oh, it's really true. He didn't... Ah, uh, he didn't... Okay. That's unfortunate. Oh, God, yeah. All right, Venusaur uses a sludge bomb. Come on, Venusaur. And we lost to Andy. Good game. Andy is not a homie. Andy doesn't care about me. He doesn't care what I stand for. It really was Andy. <laughs> Andy is not a homie. I do appreciate that so many people in the chat would have done it. Oh god, it's Snorlax stuff. What on earth am I supposed to do against this? Oh yeah, Charizard, Charizard Ninetales. Wait, what do they do against Charizard Ninetales? Wait, actually, what do they do against Charizard Ninetales? This team is, this whole team is built around Snorlax. Wingasaur and... Primarina? If I had Heatwave on Charizard, we'd be so set. We'd be super set. I mean, none of my Pokemon are really... Maybe Toji is actually in the back here. So I can redirect Snorlax attacks for a turn. Like, this whole team is just like... Can you... I could also go Max Ooze with Venusaur turn 1 and Sludge and um, Heatwave. But nah, I think I like this better. Let me do this. All right. I gotta win two in a row. <laughs> that, was, that was actually impressive. <laughs> Self-destructor. Snorlax and choose the support in DD. So I think turn one, I actually had to go for Airstream. To that turn two, I can go for Wildfire. I'm just gonna smack. I wish I had Heat Wave on both Pokemon right now. That'd be really nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna try. I'm just gonna try bullying the Snorlax with all my moves. No Psychic Seed. Psychic Seed. Okay. If I had double Heat Wave here, this would be so easy. But I'm Airstream and Heat Wave here. Speed time with. Four, two, another pair of Pokemon on my team with Speed Tie, which is very unfortunate right about now. This is honestly not a great matchup because I don't have great spread moves to smack this thing. They could have like Max Rockfall Snorlax, in which case I'd probably lose turn one. Like if they just Dynamax and Max Rockfall me right away, I, I think I lose. Unfortunately. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I feel like that could actually happen here. Yeah, which should be really bad. So they stay in with both. Because that's one way around the max heat wave, max heat wave. Or the heat wave, heat wave. I just kind of assumed they'd go for the belly drum play, but now that I think more about it, I think maybe they don't. I don't know. It depends on the opponent. This team is like so clearly built around the Snorlax, but I don't have the bulk to be dealing with. I messed up. Oh, I'm so stupid. They're gonna rock fall me. I can feel it. They definitely have rock fall. Oh, that sucks. Okay. I don't know if I can win this anymore, guys. That's a really bad turn one. The thing is, like, if I get rid of Snorlax, it's easy, but I even brought, like, I brought only support Pokemon, basically. Heat Wave comes out. They don't even follow me. They don't even respect me enough to follow me. Give me a burn. A burn. 
Full Fubix and uh, Zeno, thank you very much for the subs. Is there any more a berry? Yeah, this is this game is over. <laughs> That's another loss for me. I feel like it's actually optimal to forfeit at this point. Oh my god, what a play. And then do they rock fall? Quake into nine tails. Okay. I mean, that's not terrible. I do die, which is pretty bad. Um, but that could have gone worse. That definitely could have gone worse. They, they don't have... They have Quake, Belly Drum. They might not have Rockfall. Maybe they don't have Rockfall. I'm gonna take up the NGD this turn. I just need to hope they don't have Rockfall. Because if they have Rockfall, things are gonna get kinda bad kinda fast. Yeah, these next few turns are going to be really important. Follow me. They don't want to get sleep pattern. That much is clear. Yeah, I mean, if... I get the wildfire off turn two, which is good. Um, yeah, I went for this because I definitely need Ndidi gone. I, I need Charizard to survive here, basically. That's the short version of things. Ndidi goes down. Let's see. If, I feel like if they have Rockfall, it makes more sense to go for that turn one into Ninetales rather than Quake. Well, let's see. Quake again. Okay, so they really want the special defense boost. They want to basically become very especially bulky. To the point where I can't KO them. Um, which I respect for sure. Although, I, with the pledges, I think I have a chance at this. I don't know. So, they probably have to go into either Tojigus or Rabombi here. The Wildfire is going to help a lot, I think. So, they go into either Tojigus, Hitmontop, or... In, or Ribombi. Ribombi? Tojigus. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go for um I'm gonna go for Wildfire here, try and one shot it, and then I'm gonna switch into my own Tojigus. I'd like to save my Snorlax if I can. Or my Venusaur if I can. I basically just don't want to lose Pokemon for no reason, and the Snorlax clearly doesn't have max rockfall in my opinion. So if I get another KO here, then and I stole their Dynamax, then I could be in an okay spot. Because on the one hand, yeah, all my Pokemon are, are you know, um, they're all, you know, uh, uh, what am I saying? Oh, come on. Come on! Why do I have to deal with this? Allies with Sojigus, Bologna. Nah, that sucks. Big damage. I mean, I am doing damage, it's just slower than I'd like. Quake comes out, okay, the turn goes. So, Dynamax is over. Uh, but I've taken a- I'm almost at a Sun, I only have two turns left of Sun, which is very bad for Venusaur. Uh, well, they have no Barry right now, which is good. I need to keep my Charizard alive. I'm going for Fire Pledge here, it's my strongest move, into the- Togekiss, and I'm going to go for a big ol' Dazzling Gleam, just in case Fire Pledge doesn't KO. I, I am still faster than Togekiss, so that's good. The problem is, of course, that Rabombi can come in. Let's see. I need to get rid of Togekiss this turn because that would mean that next turn I could outspeed Rabombi. Or, I need to get Rabombi in the Burning Field, basically. If they out again, it's bad, but, like, I'm still doing damage. They're not doing much damage. They don't have Rock Slide. There's no way. Come on. Fire Bloods comes out. Does not KO Togekiss, but I do have max speed, so I go for the double. This should KO Togekiss. More damage in the Snorlax. They go for Body Slam. A full para here into... Oh, it's okay. There's a lot of damage. They, they do a ton of damage, and they get the full para. 
I swear, I'm about, I, I feel like I'm about to lose- I have a feeling I'm about to lose this. I'm about to lose the Body Slam full para. I knew it was Rabombi. Um, Rabombi. I have to follow me here. The, the Rabombi most likely wants to go for... Okay, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Last turn of Sun, last turn of Wildfire, um, and last turn of Psychic Terrain. So I'm just going to follow me here. If I get full Parad, that's where things start to get tricky. If I get Body Slam Para into full Para, yeah, things get really tricky. Why not on the Lax? The reason is because of this. Uh, because Rabombi's ability blocks sleep, so I can't I can't sleep the Lax. So all I need is a follow me here. I get the follow me off. That should win the, the game, I think. Is that the correct way to say Jojikus? Yes. Okay, Sash. There we go. Moonblast. Uh-oh. Wait a second. This might not be over if we die to this. Let's go Jojikus. Sleep. Uh, special attack drop. Body slam. Okay, we do die to that. Okay, but it's a one versus two. Sun is up though, which is bad. So not being uh, being gone is bad, but I think we can KO even with Snorlax's special defense boost. Um, I'm gonna hit him with the Burning Field. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Never mind. It's just fine. It's fine. Weirdness is gone. Sun is gone. Battlefield returns to normal, and we win. Okay, we need one more, one more right now to get to Master Ball. What up, Kyle from 45 seconds to the past? All right, let's go for Fire Pledge and Grass Pledge. It's my strongest move, and it will KO. And even if it doesn't, it would put them in a timer because of the passive damage. Andy. <laughs> Thank you for subbing. Who dares? All right, when you soar KOs, someone likes to Fire Pledge. Wait, why does it show me to see a fire if the game is over? That's stupid. I don't trust the chat. I never trust the chat. We need probably one more win. I hope one more win. Maybe two. Please be one. Please be one. Detri, thank you for the sub. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, if you want to subscribe and you wanted someone to remind you. Okay. We could maybe finally get out of Ultra Bolts here. Or we could not. I don't know. Who knows? It's kind of a mirror match, but the mirror match is, like, really bad. <laughs> um, versus these types of teams, I normally like to do when you start Charizard. Truthfully. Uh, and then the back, I think... Do we even want Ninetales here? I think Primarina has to come. I think Primarina 100% has to come. So then the question is, Tojikas, Ninetales, or Glaceon? Glaceon's not good here at all. Like, at all, at all. It beats two Pokemon. It beats one Pokemon. Um, Togekiss is good for support, and Ninetales is good for the sun. We're going to bring Glaceon. Just a Glaceon stream. Crafty Charizard, okay. Uh, not terrible, not terrible. Not great, not great, but not terrible. Man, this would be a good time to have uh, Ninetales in the back, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Realistically, this is kind of a rough a rough start. Um, should I just sack my Venusaur here? That sounds like a bad idea, right? I probably shouldn't just sack my Venusaur when I have a super tempting stack in the back. Uh, I'm going to protect and... Scrafty makes me nervous because it could have Head Smash. And I don't think an Airstream will KO it. I'm going to I'm gonna Airstream the Treasure. Okay, I... Either they don't Dynamax or they Dynamax Scrafty or they are slower than me. I mean, I can always go for a Speed Tide turn too. I realize. Like, there's a good chance... I get the speed time turn too. Uh, Raise X, thank you very much for the sub. They do Dynamax, okay. That's gonna be Charizard and the Beast Ball. 
This is looking like a rough matchup. Um, the one good thing is that I do have Primarina. I wish I had Nine Tails over Glaceon. I don't really know what I was thinking. If I have Nine Tails over Glaceon here, this becomes a lot easier. Because then I can switch in Venusaur and Sleep Pad of the Charizard. But I didn't bring anything for Charizard for some reason, so that was kind of questionable. Protecty. Ryo, thank you for the gifted sub. Figure comes out. This should be one, you swore. Yep. Uh, let's see if I win the second speed tie. I do win the second speed. The second speed tie. Excuse me. And we do not bad damage either. Not gonna lie, that damage isn't bad at all. So let's do the. They probably airstream here. I don't think they go for wildfire. Yeah, they airstream. Yeah, that makes sense. Into my one, you swore. They really wanted this thing going. Okay, so that did a lot of damage. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie to the people. Um. Yeah, I did a lot of damage. All right, I've won two speed ties so far. I'm gonna go for the third. It's a 50% chance at worst, so I'm gonna go for the double into the Charizard. If I get it, um, then I will KO Charizard, and if I don't get it, then I'm in trouble. <laughs> um, actually, it's not that bad. I mean, we've got good damage on the Charizard. The, uh, maybe, maybe the saver play was Airstream into Scrafty and then Sleep Powder into Venusaur or Sleep Powder into Charizard to like hedge my bets a little bit in case Charizard protects itself. But yeah, I didn't do that. Did Ray Rizzo retire? Yeah, he's been retired for a while. Okay, I do win another speed tie, so since I've won three, I'm inclined to believe that may be Modest Charizard. Um, so we should take out their Charizard here, which is kind of a big deal. Um, taking out the Charizard is a big deal because that is a big problem for my team. Um, Sludge Bomb comes out. Now, I'm really worried about, like, Head Smash Scrafty. Maybe it's stupid to worry about that, but I'm worried about it. I have to keep mind the Scrafty's plus one, though. Let's see. Not Head Smash, not Head Smash. Foul play. Okay, I think I live this. I'm pretty sure I live this. Let's go, Wenyasaur. No physical attack, Wenyasaur. Let's go, let's go. Okay, cool. So this isn't bad. We get one turn left. We can launch a Wildfire if we want. Um, which I probably will want to do, honestly. And then, yeah, I can Sleep Powder something as well. Um, I outspeed their whole team now. So I guess the worst case scenario would be, like, Jellicent. I go into Hyperior, actually. So they can't Dynamax that. Um... So, I guess I'm going to go for a... I'm going to go for Grass Pledge into Rhyperior and Wildfire into the Scrafty. I think getting the passive damage off is good here. I don't know if Grass Pledge K is Rhyperior, but I have a feeling it does. I also figured Rhyperior would protect itself. Yeah, so I figured maybe... Like, I don't think Airstream K is Scrafty, so I figured maybe just go for some damage here. Like, this isn't going to kill Scrafty, but it's, you know, the, 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 the chip damage is going to be nice for the rest of the game, because it's just so much. Let's see what they go for here, because I do think I love another foul play. They go for Brick Break. I should live this as well. Actually, maybe not. Let's go, when you saw It lives on six. And the Wildfire ship is going to add up very quickly. So, yeah, I think we could win this one. Having the speed advantage in this is just really a big deal. Yeah, does somebody breed me? Zero attack IV Venusaur. Because if you did your homie, you just won me this game. Whoever got me this Venusaur. So as long as we hit an air slash, I think we should be fine here. Now, I know it sounds crazy, but we could still lose this. Like, if they switch to Jellicent and get Curse Body, then things start to get a little dicey with uh with her with Hyperior. But other than that, they should lose. I mean, with Primarina... Oh, wait a second. <laughs> it could be Venusaur or Ninetales as well. Okay, wait, you remember what I said? Wait, hang on a second. <laughs> wait a second. Air Slash comes out. This could miss. It doesn't miss. Okay, so we get the kill here. Uh, I could lose this. Like, there... Oh, wait a second. That's quite bad. Oh, wait. Is that good or bad? There's not a lot of damage. I have free... Actually, wait. Freeze Dry Glaceon is actually really good here. <laughs> Somehow. Because free... I can Freeze Dry an Air Slash into the... Jellicent here. Turn two. I mean, I could also just Moonblast and Air Slash into the Jellicent with Primarina. Um, Glaceon. Primarina's probably better here, right? Glaceon's faster. I'm gonna go Glaceon. Let's see. I'm gonna freeze dry the Jellicent. I should be faster. And I'm just going to go for a Protect here, I think. Like, I don't really see what Charizard does. Worst case scenario is, like, they Strength Zap. 
with Jellicent and they're faster than a Glaceon, but Jellicent is a couple points naturally slower than Glaceon. Okay, okay, Freeze Ray comes out. This should kill. If this doesn't kill, I'm gonna be super upset. Okay, Jellicent goes down, and now we should be able to win pretty much regardless with, um, with Free Marina. Yeah, for sure. So we won three in a row. Glaceon dodges. Thank you, Snowcloak. Very cool. Should I go for Blizzard? I'm feeling good about Blizzard. I don't know if Freeze Dry will kill. Freeze Dry will probably kill, but I'm feeling good about the Blizz. I'm actually at a wolf stream, strange times. Oh, why is it strange? Okay, well, we missed. <laughs> oh, they connected. I wasted my own time. I've got no one to blame but myself. A freeze dry would have won me the game. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why Blizzard did. Okay, cool. Now Premier wins. Huh. Let's go burning G-Max Wildfire. Freeze dry into Rhyperior and then Water Pledge to Rhyperior. Honestly, I don't really do anything for with my beard. Like, it just this is just the way it grows. It's actually a little shaggy right now for me. Um, I actually, I think that, like, my beard is weird because, like, the sides don't grow in, like, the sides, like, don't grow in very full. They don't, like, get past this. Like, I, never, I can't, I can't like, grow, like, a full beard, you know? So I just keep it short in the front. I think really the trick with facial hair, and I didn't, like, I never, like... Number 11 in the world! Okay, wait, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Wait, we made it. We just have to win a couple battles. Number 11 with Glaceon. This is crucial. And I have a feeling that when you're added to Master Ball, you get added to the bottom. If I had to guess, right? Like, there's no reason you should be added to the top. So that means that there are 10 other people in Master Ball right now. If we'd just been faster, we would have been number one. But that's okay. That also means they can't be separated from us by that many points. This is this might be the end of our journey. But I need to win a couple more games in a row. Because this is, this is really where it gets clutch. Um, but yeah, anyway, I think with beard, like with facial hair, it just looks in general, like... There's, I feel like there's not really one overall rule, but P, you should find what you like, right? So, like, my facial hair is, like, um, like, my facial hair, I, like, I like the way that I look with it, you know? Like, my, my ideal facial hair is, like, the sides are, are shaved and the, the front is really short. Like, I'm, like, I don't like the word goatee because that really is, like, a, I don't know. Goatee is, like, doesn't evoke good images in my mind, but, like, a very short, just, like, up front, um, So, I was, yeah, so basically just, I would say just like, you know, find what you like. Okay, here we go. What rank are they? Should be lower than us. Okay, I don't know how this ranking works then if there's somebody 21. Okay, it's a hail team with Gudra, which is a problem. Hail team with Gudra and Aegislash and Sylveon. Honestly, Glaceon is, like, really good here. Like, stupid good here, right? Like, isn't Glaceon Tojik is really good? The one thing is... Ninetales Dragapult. Like, Auroraville Ninetales is kind of scary. Primarine is also really good here. But Glaceon in particular is... Like, actually, I kind of want to do Swamp, Swamp Time. I kind of want to do Swamp Time. But if I do Swamp Time... Wait, what if I did Swamp Time and then Swamp Gang and then I for, and I was trying to set up for Glaceon Nine Tails in the back, and if they lead like with their own Nine Tails, then I'll switch in and I'll sleep out of them. Yeah, because if I get the Swamp up, like Glace, like I basically need Swamp up to make Glaceon good here. But this is a very, 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 very important thing. This is a very important game. And it's a weird team. You have the first non Kirby goatee I've ever seen. Thank you. It's just because I don't grow it out. It's not like a goatee I think of as like long. Dragapult and... Ooh, Gyarados. Interesting, interesting. So I have a couple options here. I don't know who they want to Dynamax since both these Pokemon are often targets of Dynamax. Um, and it is Moxie Gyarados, which is very interesting. So... This kind of sucks, I'm not going to lie. Like, what I'm afraid of is they just double into my... I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go for the Swamp Gang. I feel like if I don't go for it, I'm gonna regret it. If I get it wrong, I probably lose. They Dynamax who? It's in a Pokeball. It's in a Repeat Ball. 
It's red, that's probably the Gyarados, and it's probably, like, Jolly Gyarados. Alright, so Gyarados with Dynamaxes. I need the Swamp here. It's very important. If they're not Jolly, I will outspeed them. Or if they don't, if they don't like, use, uh, if they use, like, Phantom Wars or Reflect or something. Because this looks like a support Dragapult. They go for U-turn into Primarina. Oh, we get the Swamp up! Probably! Unless they Power Whip me, oh no! Oh no, what if they Power Whip me? That'd be really bad. Please don't Power Whip me. Oh, are they going to go into Ninetales? Oh, I think they're going to go into Ninetales. To, and that way they can KO my, uh... Oh, it's Aegis Slash, okay. Airstream comes out, not into Primarina. Okay, when you survives, that's very good. That's very, very good. And we get the Swamp up, which is, a, which is Krush. As the kids say, that's Krush. There's some Krush in the chat. So, realistically, I think I'm about to get Shadow Sneaked. Shadow Snuck. But I, I can't be sure. I actually can't be sure. Water Clutch comes out. Grass Clutch comes out. Two moves have become one. Bow, 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 bow. Does a ton of damage. And they got swamped on, boys. So, let's see. Glaceon, like I said, is really strong here. I think I just want to protect and... Do I want to protect, though? I think I want to Sleep Powder and Hyper Voice here, right? I think it's actually better to lose both my Pokemon here. Right? I think this is actually best. If I lose... Because they're going to Shadow... If they, like... I need to break a, f a potential uh, Focus Sash on this Aegislash. Because Ninetales, Glacian on the back kind of be looking kind of kind of nice, you know? Yeah, so they go for... I could have protected, but I, I just... Wait, actually, I could have protected. Oh, wait, no, I wanted both my Pokemon to go down. Shadow's Need comes out, so let's see. We know they're not Life Orb. I went for Hyper Voice over Water Pledge here. I don't really know why, in hindsight. But I really wanted to break a potential Focus Sash here. So I do that. I get some nice damage on this uh, Aegislash. And I'm probably going to take an Overgrowth. Okay, cool. So that's not that's not amazing, but it's actually not terrible either. We get the Grassy Terrain up. I will lose my Primarina. So it's two versus four. Wolf click back against the wall, but the Swamp is up. And that's 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 how we're going to win this. If we're going to win this, it's going to be with the Swamp. We do know it's Life Orb Dragapult, though, and I just, like that makes me kind of nervous. Um, yeah, Moxie activates as well, which is kind of bad. Age Slash heals. Wasting time. Okay. Glaceon and Ninetales are coming in now. So, maybe I should have saved them on there. Like, maybe Protect is better in hindsight. Though, I actually don't know. I, I actually don't know. Yeah, I think maybe Protect is better there. But I wanted to keep them honest. Okay, Drought comes out, so Fire Moves are weaker. Let's take a look at their team. Because the Pokemon I'm the most worried about now is that Dragapult in the back. Um, Sylveon, Gudra, or Ninetales. They all, like, basically most of the Pokemon in the back just straight up lose to Glaceon. So, the biggest threat, in my opinion is this pesky Aegislash, who hopefully isn't going to switch here, but totally could. Like, Gujra feels like somewhat of a safe switch in here. They have King Shield. Okay, that's not great. That also means that they aren't protecting their Gyarados, so I will KO it here. King Shield comes out. I do have Shadow Ball as well on Glaceon, so it's not terrible. They're probably Focus Sash. It doesn't matter if I hit the Gyarados here instead anyway. Swamp affects everybody, even Flying Mons. Yeah, everybody is. No one is immune to Swamp. As you will see here, Gyarados is plus one speed, but Glaceon still KOs it. And I have not Dynamax yet. I mean, there are worlds where Dynamax and my Ninetales make sense in this game, but I don't think most of them are our world. And he just last heals a little more. This is the last, this next turn is the last turn of Swamp. So this is kind of my last turn to, uh, to really make a, to make a stand. Let's see who it is. That's not Dragapult. That's nine tails. Okay, cool. So in this situation, I can kind of just I don't see what's stopping me from just heat wave shadow balling, right? It'll pretty much mean that I get a KO. Um for sh I guarantee get a KO from this, and then it covers everything, and then what if I miss heat wave? Should I Dynamax now? Max Phantasm and Heat Wave? What are they trying to go for? I'm going to do it. I'm going to max Phantom as Heat Wave. Max Phantom and heat, uh, heat Wave. Okay, they stay in with both. So, if they don't Wide Guard here, and if I hit both my Heat Waves, I think I'm going to get both KOs here. Unless Ninetales protects itself. Ninetales versus Ninetales. Their Ninetales is faster than my, uh, my Ninetales, but only next turn. Not this turn. Alright. Wolf Click back against the wall. We're once, once again down to our last two Pokemon. They go for Shadow Sneak. 
Let's see if they miss my Glaceon. I don't think they're actually targeting Glaceon. I think they're targeting Ninetales. Yep, they're targeting Ninetales. Shadow Sneak comes out. Now, as long as we hit a Heat Wave on this Aegislash... Well, I did a lot of damage. They crit me. Okay, that's fine. Um, Heat Wave comes out. Do I hit both? I do. Okay, and this should be a KO on both Pokemon, I think. Yeah, they have a Sash. Um, however, this does a lot of damage. And now, because of the Swamp, I'm faster once again than the Ninetales. And I get to go for a Max Phantasm here. So now, Swamp is up, but because of the Swamp, we were able to get three KOs. Swamp Gang doing its job. Now, this is basically just Glacian against Dragapult, but I'm going to be honest, it would be I would be shocked if I lost Glacian against Dragapult, against almost any uh, Dragapult. Dragapult, the Great Friend, comes in. Now, realistically, they're going to go for a big old um, Phantom Force, either this turn or the next turn. I'm just going to Hailstorm them and Heat Wave. We know that they're not weakness policy. Um, they can only hit one Pokemon. They have to get through Snow Cloak. Please forfeit. The Dragon Arts. Okay, that's the end. That's effectively a forfeit. This is the end of Ninetales, so I will faint. Thanks to the crit, but it doesn't matter. I wonder if they hit Glaceon. I wonder who would have said it before. Okay, they hit Glaceon. Did a lot of damage. Um, however, not nowhere near enough. And Glaceon's going to win this game. So, with my back against the wall, I win against the number 21 player in the world. Prototype, it depends on if I get to number one. So, once again, guys, let's see how much we climb for this. We Because this will give me a general idea of how close together people are. We rank 11. Keep in mind, the season's only been live for two hours. No, I don't want to check the battle team. Mache. Come on, come on, come on, come on. How close together are people? Very close, very close. It can't be that far apart. Okay, Glaceon, number three in the world. There's a very good chance that if we win this one, this horrible journey will finally be over. This is the most important battle of the evening. We're battling against Aoi. Okay, Money, thank you for the gift sub. Hmm. This matchup doesn't look great for the people rooting for Wolfblick and his, swamp, his swampy team. <sighs> Glaceon actually is really good here for the most part. Like, the external and Tyranitar are a bit problematic. I could just go for swamp stuff again, though I'm a little I'm a little hesitant to do that. Um, like the problem is the Tyranitar, right? Tyranitar is a problem because I have zero physical attackers on this team. This is a really bad matchup. <laughs> I'm gonna do Venusaur and Primarina up front, I think, with Nine Tails, and I, I think I, like Glaceon's not good here, right? But it's also not the worst Pokemon I've ever seen. I think I, I think I'm going to do it with Glaceon. I think that I should be bringing it, honestly. I'm going to go for Swamp early game. I'm going to go for Glaceon mid game, and I'm going to go for Glaceon end game. And I've got Nine Tails for like to override Sun and stuff as well, or to override Sand. Chat's popping off. Final boss bosses AOI. Yeah, Primarina does do pretty well here. I'm a little worried about the Rotom, though I can swamp that. Like, if I can find a way to just sleep powder everything. I expect, like, Braviary Excadrill lead, truth be told. If I'm in their position, I'm probably doing, like, Braviary Excadrill. I think Braviary is the same base speed as Venusaur. I'm like, yeah, it definitely is. I don't need to check, but I will check anyway, just because it matters. Yep, it's base 80, so Jolly, Braviary, and Venusaur with speed tie. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to place my, my, my faith in the things that have got me this far, which are Swamp Gang and... Glaceon. If I lose, this is going to be really bad. So let's just try and win. This could be it. The end of my terrible journey. Dive Ball or Lure Ball and... Ooh, that's a very good lead for the Swamp Gang. That's a very good lead for the Swamp Gang. So, what we can expect our opponent to do here? Oh, what can we expect our opponent to do here? I don't think they... I think they're going to attack me with Airstream. I think we have to go for the Swamp immediately. Uh, even though Grass Plus with Water Pledge with KO Rotom... I think I should hit the Rotom with it. I, I, I was too hasty. My back is against the wall. My back is against the wall. Because if I just... Yeah, the Dynamax probably... Wait, it's, it's the Rotom? Are the Dynamax in the Rotom? That's very interesting. If the Dynamax Rotom, I'd be shocked. Because I could sleep out of that. Okay, no, no. It's just the Rotom. Oh, the, the Colors match. Oh, that's cool. Actually, I really like that. I'll try it. One more. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see if Rotom protects itself. The, imagine Rotom ally switches. I would lose my mind. They actually... I could have just oko the Rotom, so I, I I knew I should have just gone for it. But we got some damage on the Braviary, which is nice. Um, 
We don't get much damage in the Bravery, truth truthfully. We get Swamp. We just need to think about our endgame here. Airstream comes out. This is probably Wenyasaur. Wenyasaur hangs on. But they've used a turn of Dynamax, which is, you know, good for us. It should be Thunderbolt into... It looks like this is Venusaur, actually. Okay, they hit Primarina. I just dropped that. Um, I don't... That's not a crit, so that's either Specs or it is Life Orb. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Which isn't super cool, but it's, you know, cool. Um, I, think I, I think this is the time to go Glaceon and just start, like, smacking things, basically. I don't think Freeze Dry is going to do it, Chad. I think I have to go for either Sludge Bomb and uh, Freeze Dry and not Dynamax. Or I think I have to just go for Sleep Powder into Rotom. I think, I'm just, I, think I just have to go for it, Chad. I don't think there's another way to do it. Um, my one concern is that at the end of this, like... Although... Yeah, actually, I'm going to do this. No, I mean... The thing is, like, I'm going to be basically down to Glaceon versus four Pokemon, and the back Pokemon are probably Tyranitar and Excadrill, so I think in, in actuality, wait, I'm going to, oops, I'm going to Dynamax Hellstorm into the Braviary, and there's a Ninetales. Because I'd rather have Venusaur, like, I'd rather, I'd, I'd, I don't want to be down to, like, two immediately, I'd rather be able to overwrite the sand once more. Okay, the same with both. We're putting it all in Glacian, guys. Gla we have a Glacian and a Swamp and a Dream. And that's it. And that's kind of all we can ask for at some point. So, this is what we this is what we are left with. At the end of the day, this is what we have left. And we're going to do our best here. So, let's see what Rotom goes for here. It's kind of a big deal. Alice Switch comes out. Okay, well, that is extremely bad. Um, that's extremely bad. Of course, it's Alice Switch Rotom. I'm going to smack Rotom with Max Hailstorm by accident. And I think this is probably going to be the end. I don't think we can come back from this. I mean, we know it's... It's not over. Gosh. Nah, I knew... I'm. If I KO'd Rotom turn one... Okay, let's see. Knuckle comes out into Glaceon, presumably. Doesn't do that much damage. Um, it's fine. I have two turns left of Dynamax. So, overriding my own son is kind of bad. Um, it's not ideal. Which is stronger? So overheat is 100 and basically two, 100 base power, and yeah, this is much stronger. I'm gonna overheat and max hailstorm here into Braviary. Yeah, this probably backfires. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, now, I mean, this isn't going to do any damage. I lost, guys. I'm really sorry. I lost. I don't, like, they would need to really mess up, basically. You, uh, wait, what am I, uh, I... I had the right play. I meant to double the... I meant to double the Rotom that turn. That's what I meant to do. I'm just... I'm just throwing. My back's against the wall, but I don't think... I don't see a way out anymore. Um, I'm going to lose Ninetales this turn, and with Alice, it's Garbaggio. This is not winnable. This is not winnable, I'm just going to say it. Like, unless they have Sylveon in the back, with 1 HP Venusaur and Glaceon, like, if they have Tyranitar in the back, which they really should, I'd be shocked if they didn't at this point. I don't have enough health left in my Venusaur. If I had full HP Venusaur, maybe. But yeah, they have Tyranitar, that's just going to seal it, y'all. I don't think I can win this. Actually, wait, I see one way to win this. <laughs> which is, uh, Snow Cloak, which we can get up. So, with Snow Cloak... Well, there's a snow cloak either way, um, but I will lose Venusaur this turn, 100%. So, uh, yeah. We're going to Sleep Powder into Tyranitar. It's surely going to protect itself, but we have to go for it. And we're just going to go for a Hailstorm into the um, Braviary. Yep, no reason not to. Oh, Braviary. Okay, well, we should still kill it. Let's see if Tyranitar breaks itself. Okay, that's cowardly. <laughs> like, there is a chance. There's a ve because of snow cloak, there's always a chance, but... I think that they have extra duels the last Pokemon, and so if they hit me with any move, like, I die. And I don't even know if I killed them with Hailstorm here. 
This sucks. Okay, I do kill with Hailstorm, so it's a two versus one, but the one is non-Dynamax Glaceon, who has not been great for us so far. Um, if the last Pokemon is Sylveon, I think we have a, a small chance, because Rock Slide, like, if we get a Rock Slide miss, Blizzard's probably a two at KO. Um, but yeah, with a one versus two, I don't know, I'll try my best, but it's basically up to luck at this point, which has not normally been in our favor, because the Swamp is gone as well, so our speed control is gone, so... Uh, they would need, if they have Excadrill, wait, I don't think that's Excadrill. Oh, it is. Okay, so basically, here's the thing. Their moves are 80% accurate at best, but 80% is extremely high. Blizzard's not going to one-shot the Excadrill. I'm not even, I'm not even going to narrate. It's over. There's, the odds, the odds are so infinite, to, with this much health, like, the odds are so incredibly small that it's not even worth talking about. So, we'll try, we'll keep trying. We'll go a little bit longer, then we'll go up and cry for a while. They're thinking about it. Iron, yeah, Iron Connects, yeah, that's it. That sucks. That really sucks. I feel like if they didn't ally switch me, unfortunate choke city. I honestly don't think that was a choke. Like, like if they went, if they had ally switch Rotom, I don't know why they didn't go for it turn one. Um, yeah, I think my plays were just bad. So, yeah, that was bad. We were through eleven, then we were three. Let's see where we are now. We're probably gonna need at least two or three wins in a row. But the longer this goes on, the more people get up here. So, God, that sucks. Okay, that's really bad. All right, that's bad. Okay. <laughs> well, everyone's ready to watch until 6 a.m. Yeah, but what about me? I need to sleep. I have stuff I need to do tomorrow. I'm mashing. I'm mashing. Who is it? Andy, the return. Number 44. People are filling up the ladder. We used to only have people in the 20s. Sable is a problem for this team, as is Lapras, as is Alchemy, as is Excadrill. Conkleter is okay, though. Um, so to deal with a team like this, what are we going to do? big part of me just wants to go all out firepower, right? 5,000 bits. Holy cow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the, for the, for the very generous donation and for the kind words. We have to get swamp in the back. This is a bait up front so we can get swamp in the back. You know what I'm saying? Ladies. Are the speed ties important for the pledges? No. Well, actually none of my pledge wants speed tie. Um, but no, the, it's really bad to have pledges with, with speed ties. Uh, in UK, it's 8.15 a.m. I knew they are going to lead this. So I, I had to make... I have to hope... I have to hope here. They could be trick eject button. That wouldn't be the craziest thing I've seen. The thing about Sableye is it has so many options. They could be trick eject button here. I think I might actually want to cover for that. And go for a protect heat wave. Let's see what they go for. Or actually, I'm going to switch to Prime Arena and Heat Wave. I don't really care if they take my Throat Spray, for example. Um, yeah. I knew they were going to lead this. Maybe if I, since I knew they were going to lead this, I maybe should have countered it better. But now that I think about it, like, say if I could go for Rain Dance or I could go for Trick Eject Button, and I just don't want to lose the game because I got Trick Eject Buttons. So I'm going to play a little cautiously here, a little slow play. <clears throat> It's okay if Ninetales goes down, as long as I get Swamp Gang up. And I'm thinking, like, if they go for Trick Eject Button. Like, imagine if they Trick Ice Shard me. I don't know, it doesn't seem crazy. Okay, they don't go for Trick Eject Button, probably. Rain Dance would be kind of bad here. You know what, they probably have Rain Dance, now that I think about it. Let's see. It's not, it's not over, it's not over, it's not over. Not like this turn one. <laughs> All right, let's see what they go for here. Rain dance would be bad. Trick would be bad. Trick would be good. Oh, okay, I, I'm glad I covered it. I had a feeling it was either trick or rain dance. Um, so yeah, that's not great. Rain dance save life. Heat wave comes out, and I do miss the Lapras, which is a little annoying because the chip actually matters a lot. Like it might not look like it, but the chip matters a ton here. And they go for resonance actually. Probably into Charizard. Yeah, into Charizard. Okay. So, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? The, with, the, with the Veil up, I need to get rid of the Sableye and I need to solve their Dynamax. Those are my two main goals right now. I'm going to Moonblast into the Sableye and switch, I think, into Venusaur. Let's try and get rid of it. I don't think they're going to hit me with um, Max Geyser into, or Max, Max uh, Aurora Veil again. 
Because they already got their veil up. They got, they, you know, they kind of got what they came for, in my opinion. <clears throat> Turn two of Dynamax here. I need to get rid of the Sableye. I don't think Moonblast will kill, though. It's also, if it's not Trick Eject Button, it's very likely Rosalie Berry. So, yeah. I think this is probably Max Geyser into my Vandiosaur here. I don't know how much I take from this, but probably a lot. Ooh, okay. They are Rosalie Berry, so they're probably foul playing somebody here. Or, I don't think it gets knocked off this generation. Give me a big crit. No crits, that's okay. Geyser comes out, that was expected. Probably into Wenyasaur, and then. Venusaur. I'm gonna go for a big foul play. Now, this isn't super strong. Wenyasaur will survive for a turn. I think in this situation, I wanna go for a. Do I think Hyper Voice will do enough damage? I think that it will, but if I'm wrong, I could be in trouble. I'm gonna go for it. If I'm wrong, I'm really in trouble though, right? I need, wait, what do they have in the back? Do I need Swamp this game? I feel like uh, I don't need Swamp this game, but boy, howdy, would it be nice. I'm going to go for Moonblast and Protect here and hope that I can take a Max Lightning. I think better just to be safe in this instance. Like, they could go for Quash into Wenyasaur or Taunt. They go for Quash into probably Wenyasaur. I think I take out Sableye now, though I think also I might get Max Lightning. So we'll have to see here. They go for a Resonant Venusaur. I could have predicted that and switched to Ninetales, actually. Maybe that would have been better. I don't think I survived this with Protect. Yeah, I drop. Okay, so basically, there's good news and there's bad news. The good news is... The bad news is um, I lost my Venusaur and I've taken some damage and Rain is up. Though, yeah, it's not horrible, like I said. Like, it could have been worse. I'm basically worried about, like, Sash Excadrill. I don't know if you were in Sash X on this team. Like, they're, them making the Aurora Veil up is bad, but I haven't I haven't Dynamaxed yet, which is really good, especially since I have Charizard most likely Dynamaxing here. So it's basically my two starters. And I do have a very powerful Water-type attack right now. Okay, it is Excadrill. Do I want to say that this thing does not have Sash? Do I think this thing has Sash or not? Is my question, right? Because I think I'm probably going to need a Rock Slide here. I think I have to think about the end game here. I'm gonna go for a hyper voice and a protect. Pretty much as long as Excadrill doesn't protect itself here, we should be fine. I just don't know if it's Sash Excadrill or not. Like on this team, you could run Sash and Alchemy, but you don't have to. The good the other good news is that they, they did go for Aurora Vel turn one with their um, with their Lapras, which means that in theory, if it's not... Let's do the one for here. The two bad things are Protect and then Flinch. They go for Rock Slide, so as long as I don't flinch to Rock Slide... Please, Miss Primarina, just give me some peace of mind here. Okay, there's just as long as I don't flinch. Or I guess it was telling me if they're Life Orb. That looked like Life Orb damage to me. Yeah, okay, that's good. Now we know. Okay, Hyper Voce comes in. They Okay, we also know now that Lapras is not Shell Armor, which is very important. So we get a one-hit KO there. One turn left of the Aurora Veil. Thunder comes out, so I don't die. Okay, okay. So we're going to run a really quick uh, calc, everybody. Because I think this is probably Togekiss, if I had to guess. So Togekiss. Okay. How much does it take from a... 160 base power move. Actually, wait, hang on a second. Keep an eye on the timer, Wolf. This is your moment. Okay, so 160 base power. In the rain. Plus one. Through Aurora Veil. It kills. According to my calculations, it kills. So I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the rainbow. I'm going to go for water pledge and fire pledge. And if it doesn't kill, then I've thrown. But I'm going to go for it. Now, there's good news and there's bad news. The bad news is Helping Hand. The good news is I'm only losing one Pokemon this turn. All right, rainbow time. I think this will kill him. Plus one, it's in the rain. It kills. Premier Arena one-shots <laughs> Togekiss through Auroraville. 
And I get the rainbow, which doesn't really help me, except that it does mean that I can lower special attack easier. Thunder comes out, someone is dead. It's Charizard, presumably. Charizard goes down here. So it is now. Let's see if Aurora Veil ended. Rain stops. Aurora Veil ends. Okay, so all I need to do to win this game is Solar Beam, Max Fairy, and I should win. I actually have 40% Dark Pulse flinch and 60% Moonblast drop. So if this were not a high stakes game, I'd just go for the rainbow. Like rainbow stuff. I mean, I could still do it, but no. I think the best play here is Max Fairy into the Lapras and Solar Beam. They're most likely weakness policy, but I don't see how you can beat a 2 versus 1 with Pre Marina here. Pre Marina back against the wall, carrying the team. Oh, going a Togekiss through Light Screen, through Aurora Veil. That's a big deal. This could be it, everybody. Solar Beam comes out. The animation takes a while. Ninetales is absorbing light, and then we'll release it into Lapras's smug face. I'm proud of how we played this one. We covered for we covered for Rain Dance. We used Rainbow really well. That's a lot of damage, and we just lost even activate, but it's not going to be enough, I think, because Primarina is going to attack next and bring this one home. So, wait, we were speed time. Wait, what just happened? Why were we speed tying that whole time? Didn't my Primarina always move first? Oh, I only won one speed tie, I think. Okay, well, there's good news and there's primarily bad news. Ah, uh, wait, no, there's no way we can lose this, right? We know their item. Uh, they would need a quadruple protect. Please don't go for it. Please don't, please don't do this to me. This chat is celebrating, but they don't know what's in front of them. They don't know what's ahead of them. They don't know what they're about to see. The rainbow should make you win speed ties. In my opinion. Chat says Pog, but they haven't seen that my Pre Marina Dynamax just got one shot by Thunder and Sun! Okay. Okay, that's it. Ninetales goes for Solar Beam. Absorbs Light. Come on, Kurama. Okay, now they see. Okay, Lapras goes down. What is our rank? Andrew. Now, Andrew was ranked 44, so I don't know if that's going to be enough points for us. We were ranked 4. We were ranked 4. We have run won three in a row. All right, let's go ahead and check. We're going to update our ranking. Ranked battle. Nope. Nope. I swear I hit down. Rank 4. Update ranking. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please. Let this all be over. Let this night be every over, please. That's insulting. That is so insulting. Oh my god. Maybe one more. Maybe one more will do it. Because every time, the longer this goes on, the more people clog up the rankings. God, every game is so... I feel like this is it. I feel like I'm about to lose. No, we have to pull through. How is every game so difficult? Number three versus... Number s another low-ranked opponent... Oh, with a Raichu, no, and Tyranitar. This is a this is a god awful matchup. <laughs> Not gonna lie to the people at home. Weishan's no good here. I think I have to go. With, I have to put my faith in the swamp. I always forget that I have the option of just like doing like Primarina Togekiss and just trying to roll through people. I think that's probably pretty solid. Though I don't know if I want to start experimenting with it here. Although, actually, it's really, really solid. They're going to lead with, like, Corviknight Raichu, right? They're going to lead Corviknight Raichu, right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hard read a Corviknight Raichu lead. so much with this team.
So what do I expect? <coughs> I've got to win this one. Cor what did I say? I knew what they are going to lead. But the turn one is kind of tricky. So like, what is my opponent? If you're my opponent, what do you do here? Do you fake out into Venusaur? Like, you can't, you can't just attack with both your Pokemon, right? Because if you do, you'll get... I, I think I Heat Wave for sure. I don't think I make any weird plays with Heat Wave. The question is, do I Sleep Powder to keep him honest, or do I Protect to protect my integrity? I think I'm just going to Sleep... I, I think I'm going to go for the same play I did last time, which is Sleep Powder. Oh, man, this is tough. I don't love this lead. Like, Tyranitar's probably switching in. Um, I went for Heat Wave just and like, Sleep Powder. Like, it could backfire, but it covers a lot of options. It puts offensive pressure on. Corvette switches. This should be Tyranitar. Yeah, it is Tyranitar. So, I don't know what Raichu does here. Could just fake out, I guess. Last time, the person nuzzled me, which is a problem. Oh, that's extremely bad. That's extremely bad. I was not ready for Safeguard Raichu. Okay, I hit both Heat Waves, which is, you know, good, but... Um, this is going to be a tough one, Chad. I, I don't see how we're going to... Ah, actually, you know what? I've seen, my, I've seen me win these. I've seen me win these. I, I have ideas. Let's switch to Pre-Marina and Protect here. And then I can go for the Swamp. I just need to make sure that I get a speed boost at the right time with Charizard, I think. And, like, I get through his Tyranitar's Dynamax. The little bit of chip on Tyranitar is actually not bad here. Like, I'm not feeling too bad about that. Um, yeah. Safeguard, Fake Out, Nuzzle, Volt Switch? Or do they... Do I think they have Brick Break as well? Like, Raichu's a lot of moves. I think it does have Fake Out. I think it does a fake out. So fake out safeguard, probably an electric type attack. It probably is nuzzle. Here comes Dynamax Trinitar. That makes sense. <clears throat> I need to get through these next few turns. Raichu doesn't switch, but it could be going for Volt Switch, so who can never, who can never be sure? The other option is I Dynamax my, um, the other option is I Dynamax my Venusaur in this game. But if I, I don't think that really works, truthfully. Let's see what they go for here. Probably Max Rockfall. What do they go for with Raichu? Nuzzle. Okay, that confirms my suspicions. They do have Nuzzle. So I got hit with the Nuz, which is a little unfort. Get hit with Max Rockfall. I think this is going to be into Venusaur. Okay, Venusaur takes a little bit of damage. That actually did a lot of damage, I'm not going to lie. Hmm. So I have two options. I think I'm going to get Max Rockfall again. The problem is, I can't really stop Nuzzle. So, I could Dynamax my Venusaur. I could Dynamax my Venusaur here. It's not the craziest thing I've ever done. The problem is I'm immediately going to lose my... Actually, yeah, I think that could work. Like, I'm going to immediately lose my son, but... Okay, that's good. We should go to Raichu, who, again, I, I just really hate dealing with. And I think I'll take a Max Rock Fall from Trinitar. If I don't, I, I definitely just lose. Um, but yeah, basically my plan is try and use Dynamax to Venusaur to, to like do some big work here. And then... Yeah, go from there with Charizard in the back. It does feel kind of stupid to Dynamax to Venusaur though, so maybe this is bad. I think I'm pretty sure I take a Max Rock Fall and a Turn of Sand or two. Max Ooze comes out. So we do get rid of, um...
Rockfall comes out in two. One new store. All right, that did a lot of damage. So did, I'm down from, um, I have 30 health left. No way this is 15, no way this is 15. Okay, only there's nine. Wait, why does this do no damage? Oh, it doesn't actually matter, never mind. Corvacanite comes in. Okay, so what do I think Corvacanite's gonna go for here? Because I could just one shot it if I wanted, but I don't think in the long term that's my best idea. So I think I'm gonna go to Max Guard here and switch to Purina. That was the wrong play. I had a, I had a good play and I didn't go for it. That was a stupid play on my part. Uh, I... Unless Corviknight protects itself, in which case it was the right play. No, okay. Wait a second, chat. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. They're gonna rock fall into my Primarina. Please die, Primarina. I don't normally say this, but I need you to die this time. I think you will. Primarina. Thank you for your service. That's exactly what we needed. We take one more turn of sand. We're still alive. It's very crucial. It's calculated. Now we get to go into Nina Tails. Good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Alright, so I think this is within range. Because both my Pokemon Oko both of his Pokemon. Realistically, I think Tyranitar has to switch out here, right? But you don't have a switch into to this combination of attacks. So I'm gonna go for Heat Wave. I'm gonna go for Max Overgrowth. And I'm gonna pray that something goes in my favor here. Kind of wish I overheated. Kind of, like, low-key wish I overheated. Heat Wave should definitely kill Corviknight. I'm worried that it will miss, but I think that's a risk I have to take. They can switch Tyranitar out, but... Why are you guys all doing 07 in the chat? Turn to go for Protect. Okay, this is it. If I, if I KO this Corviknight with my Specs Heat Wave... I'm in good shape, otherwise, very bad shape. This is plus one, but it's still through protect, so, um, yeah. If I can, I need, I need to KO this Corviknight in one shot with Heat Wave. Grass Ring goes up, which is like, you know, that's good. Um, come on, Nina Tails. Active with Reach Palsy, yep. The right play. Alright, come on, Nina Tails. I really need you right now. Heat Wave comes out, it protects Serenitar, does it connect in Corviknight? Okay, it connects. There's no Oka Berry. We probably suspect that it's not Focus Sash. I should have overheated. I just lost because I didn't overheat. Wait, actually, I haven't lost yet. I haven't lost yet. This is going to be Venusaur. Oh, into Nine Tails. Okay. Interesting move. Um, Well, we got unlucky that we didn't one-shot it, but we got lucky in the end. We now have plus one Venusaur in Grassy Terrain in Sun against Tyranitar without Sand. And Grassy's Rain, but it is at plus two. Safeguard's gone, which I did forget about. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, for Primary to Sacrifice. Thank you. Sylveon is the switch. This makes me a little nervous, because Sylveon does get quick attack. Um, so, I think what I want to do here is... I think I'm going to Heat Wave and Protect. Because, like I said, Sylveon does get quick attack. And I, I don't want to lose to quick attack Sylveon, just because I didn't go for Protect. How much does Quick Attack Sylveon do to my do to me? Anyone? Any takers? Any guesses? Any guessers in the chat? Never no protect. Two have to go for Quick Attack. Okay. Uh, okay. Heat Wave connecting would be really nice here. Come on, Heat Wave. Connects on both. Okay. Give me some big burns in the chat. Any burns in the chat? No burns in the chat. Crunch. Okay. So I do faint to this. Um, however, I feel like Venusaur is going to be out of range of. Quick attack. I have 20 health left. Like, I knowing how much damage attacks do, like, intuitively, like, I remember that my Hitmontop Faint did, like, 11 to 13 damage to Primal Groudon. And Sylveon's weaker than Hitmontop, and Venusaur's less bulky than Groudon, so I think it's gonna be, like, roughly that range. But Pixelate's a little bit stronger. Let's go 
go for Solar Beam into the Tyranitar and Sludge Bomb into the Sylveon. I'm plus one, so this should definitely KO. And if Tyranitar goes down, then Char like Charizard should beat Sylveon for sure in a one versus one. My two starters. Protect from Tyranitar. So they go for quick attack. They do. Come on, Venusaur. Ooh, it's, okay. Maybe a misclick, or maybe they maybe they conceded. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, there's no way quick attack would kill, so this was a pin, I think. Yeah, there's no... I, I'll run that calc, actually. A 20 health. That's actually really easy. Let's see if they're modest. How much does it do? Maximum damage is 12. Oh, yeah. Even... Oh, yeah. This is not kill. Yeah. So, we, we were super safe. Ma even with quiet, maximum damage is 14. So, that was a guaranteed win. But GG. Yeah. It was, that was a good game. I you may maybe work for that one. And Solar Beam and Grass Pledge. We're not going to mess around with any Fire Pledge, Grass Pledge stuff. Because that's the one way I could lose. Because Fire Pledge, Grass Pledge would turn into a Fire type attack for Tyranitar. Three thirty-seven in the morning. Is this it? Goes to the double. Um, Vaughn of Blutcher, thank you for the sub. All right, and when you saw, it was a tough matchup, but we were able to pull through. Please, please let it be over. It's almost four in the morning. I'm so miserable. Please let this be the end. Ranked battles. Marcus, good morning. Please, rank three. Just, just, just two more ranks. I'm so close. Pray for me, chat. Hands up right now. Thank you very much for the bits. Okay, interesting. Rotom is certain. That's a fine lead. That's a super fine lead. All right, well, think. Think, think, idiot. You stupid idiot. Think for one second. What are you doing? All right, all right, all right. What are you going to do here? Okay. 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 So I, I, the thing is, it's so tempting to Dynamax turn one here. Like, it's super tempting. And I'm gonna do it. I have this feeling it's a Dynamax since the Aurora, which actually isn't that bad. Like, I just need to protect Primarina. 
I don't know if you... I don't... Okay, so if they Dynamax Rotom... First of all, there's no guarantee they're Dynamax Rotom, but if they do, then they're slower than me, which is very useful for me next turn. I don't think you Dynamax Rotom in front of Venusaur, though. What's who they go for? Should we fake out, I think? Something Dynamax is. Is it Rotom or Incineroar? It's another peep ball that doesn't tell me anything. Back against the wall. Wolf click. It is Rotom. Now, that's actually not bad for us, um, in my opinion. As long as this attack does, like, 40%. This should be fake out into, um... This should be fake out into Venusaur and Max Lightning into Primarina, if I had to guess, which is why I made this play. So they go for... Fake out into Venusaur, that's what I expected. That's why I Dynamaxed. I figured it might be good just to get the special attack boost in play. And I am faster, which is really good. So let's see how much this does. Like, 40? You know, I just forgot that Rotom wasn't weak to poison. I, like, super forgot that Rotom wasn't weak to poison. That was super dumb. Lightning comes out. Okay, that was really dumb. <laughs> Oops. It's late. Okay, I cannot take another one of those. So it comes down to whether or not... So they're modest max HP. I'm gonna say it. I think I think I one shot. I think I got the one shot here. And if I don't, whoops, might lose this game. Probably will lose this game. Oh, it looks like Alex is in the chat. No, Alex, don't don't forfeit. Let's at least let's let's play. Let's play. I appreciate it, but uh, no, I, I think I think if I'm this far, okay, respect. I respect it. I respect it. I use the second turn of the Dynamax. Now this actually isn't that bad for me. I do get a, a hyper voice off here. I don't think this will kill. Yeah, it doesn't kill. That might be a Salt Incineroar that can do very much damage. I think that's a Salt Incineroar. Honestly, yeah, they're gonna go for Flare Blitz. They might die to Recoil. Because, yeah, they're, they're definitely dead to recoil. Ooh, that's very good. They do survive. So I'm going to go for the same play, Overgrowth, and... Why is there an otter on my... What is that? How do you do... Wait, you can do that? Swamp, Swamp Gang, rise, Gang up. rise up. Thank you, thank you for the uh, donation. Thank you, thank you. All right, this might backfire if I don't KO. Wolf look back against the wall. Um, If this... If, if this max Overgrowth does not KO Rotom... And I really think it should, but here, moment of truth, chat. You can see for yourself. Does plus one, max overgrowth, one shot. Yes, it does. Yes, yes, Pokemon, yes. It does do, It does one shot here. Um, we have traded Dynamaxes, so this is, you know, this isn't over. This isn't over. But that's looking good. Rotom goes down, and I believe... I might be speed tying with him sooner, actually. Okay, I, I, either I'm not speed tying or I want to speed tie again. Primarina takes the KO on Incineroar, and we're up 4-2, to two, which is very rare. Um, we're not normally... We're not normally up 4-2, to two, I'll be honest. So we have the option of going through Swamp now. What I think they have in the back is most likely Excadrill and Tyranna TR. Um, and my lab back Pokemon are Sun Pokemon, so let's see what he goes into. <sighs> Tyranitar. And presumably Excadrill. Ooh, Dust Boss. That makes me kind of nervous because if Trick Room goes up... <laughs> Wait a second. Hang on a second. I have an idea. No, it's not going to work, right? Primarina. With an... Let's see, Giga Drain. Let's change the space power to 160. In the grassy terrain versus Dust Boss. Wait, why does this do no damage? It doesn't do any damage? Oh, a plus two? Does not one shot. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to go for Sleep Powder into Terrena, into Dusclops here. I think I could lose this. If Trigger goes up, I may just lose. I can't believe this is, the Swamp doesn't do enough damage. Sleep Powder, Hyper Voice? Pff, 
please, Sleep Powder. I need you right now. I need you right now. Turn to go for protective hit, so it's not the end of the world. I really need the Sleep Powder to connect. Venusaur, Sleep Powder, connects. That's a huge connection. Call me the Rainbow Connection, boys. God, that was really important. That was re If I miss that, I'd probably lose. I forgot they had Dust Pops. The Swamp will grow. I don't know why this doesn't one-shot Dust Pops. Doesn't it seem like plus two for Marina should one-shot Dust Pops? Now I can summon the Swamp and one-shot something. What if he gets the double protect, though? It's probably safer to one-shot the Dust Pops and then win from there. Like, I could even Grass Pledge Hyper Voice and do a ton of damage to win. I have a couple options here. Um, I think just going for the KO on the Dust Clops is probably fine. Grass Pledge and Water Pledge into Dust Clops. I mean, even Hyper Voice is fine, right? Now let's go for it. I think it's Swamped. I think, I think if I'm going to get to number one in the world, I want to do it with Swamp Gang. I could have one-shot the Tyranitar here, but... Yo, actually, you want to see something sick? Goodbye. Well, after this. Swamp. Crunch. Okay, cool. But when you're going to faint here. Alright, and now I get to hit him with the strongest move I have. Which is plus two water-type Swamp. Swamp ganged in it all. It's actually going to be... Okay. My final combination is the the Rainbow Swamp, which some of the chat is affectionately calling the Gay Swamp. So first the Swamp, then the Rainbow. And this could, if we're lucky, be what takes us over the edge and finally gets us to number one in the world. We are ranked number two in the world right now. It is four in the morning. Fire Pledge, Water Pledge. It's a water type attack, unless I did something very stupid. Fire Pledge comes out, waits for Primarina, and we're going to end this with a rainbow. At least this battle, hopefully this terrible saga. That makes a noise. And plus two, water type Primarina with a critical hit, which did not matter, <laughs> wins. And here's the rainbow. Let's see. After the storm comes a rainbow. Is this the end? Is this the end? My voice hurts. My, my body hurts. My mind hurts. My emotions hurt. Physically, logically, emotionally, in every sense of the word, I am in pain. Thank you for the bits. This could be it. Ranked battles. Okay, Swamp Rides. Please, 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 please. Come on. Please. Let's go. I don't want to wake up my roommate, so I'm not going to pop off, but... Four in the morning. Back against the wall. Glaceon is now number one in the world. Did we do it with skill? No. Did we do it with a lot of luck? Yes. Did we do it with heart? Absolutely. Did it feel good? Absolutely not. Despite my ability at Pokemon, despite my skill, despite my 10 years playing VGC, let alone whatever else I spent before that, this is one of the hardest endeavors I have ever, ever taken. The Swamp Gang was here for me. Glaceon was not. But you know what? Being on the bench, you, you still get a ring, right? Super Bowl, that's a sport thing. If you don't play in the game, you still get a ring. This was not my best team. This was not a good team. This was not something I ever, ever want to use again. But when it, when it came down to it and my back was against the wall, I persevered with sheer clever approach, AKA playing at four in the morning, the day, playing until four in the morning, the day that the ladder reset. But here I am. I am number one in the world with Glaceon. Using every ounce of my creativity, every ounce, of my ingenuity, everything that I had. We gamed the system and it paid off and it was still almost impossible. When there were 20 players in Master Ball rank, we still were having trouble. It was a nightmare. I'm not going to lie to you. It was. 
a nightmare. Can you believe it, chat? Glaceon, one of the worst Pokemon of all time. Holy cow, five gifted subs. Thank you very much. Let's do a little recap. We started off innocent, young, naive, full of hope, confident in ourselves and our abilities as a community and as an individual, and the individual is me. And we went to the ladder and we said, you know what? Leafeon wasn't actually that bad. It took some hard work. It took some elbow grease. I pulled myself up by my bootstraps, etc., etc. But we got there. It wasn't that bad. I think it took two or three streams. I genuinely think it took two streams. Okay? I genuinely think it took two, two streams, okay? So I thought Glaceon. It's cool. It's got some stuff it can do. Stream number one. No. Stream number two. No. Stream number three. No. Four. No. Five. No. Switch teams. Team number two. No. Stream number seven. No. Team number th eight. No. Stream number eight. No. Switch teams again. Stream number nine. No. Stream number 10. No. Switch teams again. Stream number 11. No. And that was it. It was 11 streams and four teams. In the end, what I ended up doing is I just put Glaceon on the Swamp Team and drops the Valley. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the subs. You guys were winning the opportunity to be featured in the YouTube video. Finally. Finally. We got to number one in the world. So, we had 11 streams that we were ready to give up. In fact, I had given up when I had the brilliant idea earlier today. When I realized that the ladder would reset at 8 p.m. and be back up at midnight. So if I played from midnight until however long it took, I had the best odds because nobody, nobody would be in Master Ball tier. And if I was the only person in Master Ball tier, then I could do it. Then I knew I could do it, right? Because if you're the, it doesn't matter if you're the worst, because if you're the only one who finishes, you're still first place. You know what I'm saying? So... We, midnight, I started the stream. I played and I played. We got out of Great Ball easily. No losses. Ultra Ball we got stuck in. Many time. Many, many time. And every second, people were getting into Master Ball. People, people were getting, you know, people were, were getting into Master Ball and being rank one. Alright, take something down. Take this one down. And we got into Master Ball. We had some heroes along the way. We had some help. Particularly, one hero in particular. You know what I'm saying? Um, but at the end of the day, we persevered. And this is where we ended up. So, thank you to everybody. Thank you to the Swamp Gang for being here. Here is the rental code of this Horrible experience that I hope I never do again. Even Flareon should be easier than this. And this has been the story of how I got to number one in the world with one of the worst Pokemon of all time, Glaceon. I hope I never have to use Glaceon again. I kind of want to release Glaceon. <laughs> 